Good afternoon beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, welcome. My name is Chantel and in today's video I'm going to be unboxing another mystery box but this time it's the Ciate London mystery box. Um, yeah, just before I get into this, a little disclaimer guys, I am doing some batch filming. Um, I did the glossy box, the look fantastic, this makeup look and now I'm filming this so a total of four videos. So if you see me looking the same in a few videos then that's the reason why I just thought I would put that out there. Uh, this mystery box cost me £34 and it's supposed to be worth £186. Um, I can't remember how I found out about the Ciate London mystery box. I may have got an email, I can't remember but this was definitely out for Black Friday so I picked it up. It did take a while to get to me though it took me it took about a week and a half um i'm not sure if it's because of the whole backlog but then it got delivered by was it yodel or dpd so i wasn't understanding why it took so long i think it was yodel so i'm not understanding why the delivery took so long i think maybe they just got so many orders and they got backlogged i'm not 100 sure and i'm not sure whether or not it's still in stock or if it's sold out if it is still in stock i will link all the details down below right so jumping straight in it says um get your hands on this limited edition 12 piece of mystery beauty box a black friday must have featuring 10 full size and two mini products valued at over 186 pounds this is your chance to grab some of our best selling products at a super pretty price with an additional touch of mystique okay so this is what it is i'm not showing you the front because it has my address on it so opening it up right first of all i have this um like i said this cost 34 pounds and i think the delivery was something like four or five pounds and they say it said on the website if you order over 35 pounds worth of stuff then you get free delivery so i jumped on and i thought i would just pick something else up so i could get free delivery and get a product rather than have to pay the delivery charge so i picked this I can't even it's a lipstick so I thought I'd just show it to you this isn't part of the mystery bag doesn't really have a smell oh that is really nice that's a really nice berry color perfect for Christmas so yeah happy about that right so this is how it came it came in a bag not a box and i've literally just gone and sliced this open with my scissors just to kill time i haven't looked inside but it does feel pretty packed with stuff you have a load of wormies on the top so yeah let's just jump straight in oh my gosh guys look at this it's literally got loads of stuff in it so in no particular order i'm just gonna pick one thing at a time and the first thing i'm seeing is this wonder wonder wand mascara look at that i think i've got this one already right or i pull it in a giveaway but i've definitely heard of this mascara before and i think i had the full size i think the full size is silver i'm not 100 percent sure though but here you go there's the first thing it's a mascara I'm not going to open this up because I have too many mascaras open already. All right, I may just put this into a giveaway. So yeah, that's the first product. Happy about that. The second thing in here is this Color Flip. What is that? Light Reactive Color Changing Gloss. Oh, that's fun. I've never had a, a color changing gloss before. And this is in the shade Sunrise. So let's open this up and see what this is saying. Oh, there's the silver packaging that I remember. Color changing gloss. It smells like coffee. It smells a bit like coffee. It does, it smells like coffee. I can't stand the smell of coffee. That smells horrible. Oh, that's what it looks like. I don't know how you get the color to change but it does it smells like coffee light reactive pigments magic color change triple complex to rejuvenate renew and replenish it's a lightweight non-sticky sticky gloss oh when light goes on it it changes it starts off this color but then when light goes on it it changes right i have no idea how this works i'm gonna have to google it 
light reactive pigments so is it does it change color with the light i have no idea all i know is it says it's got this kind of picture with a house and a sun and it's one color to the next so it doesn't seem to be changing so i have no idea i guess i'll have to look into it and see but it doesn't smell nice at all guys none whatsoever right so the next thing in the box is this glitter storm lipstick there you go so something else for the lips and this is in the shade electra let's see oh i like this packaging look at that it's really nice okay so let's see what this is saying oh look at that that's really nice i like that right, let's see oh that's pretty i don't know whether i could see myself wearing that because it is pretty out there but yeah i guess for halloween or something like that that would be perfect or oh, for like a makeup look and i don't understand it comes with like um a, a little booklet glitter storm lipstick directions for use you need directions to put on the lipstick moving on the next thing is this everyday vacay coconut lip oil which i have one of these already so i will show you guys but i won't open it up because this i will definitely put into a giveaway because i have one i have one of these already there you go this is what it looks like and it's just the lip oil and again it's got some sort of instructions in there so i i have no idea why they do that you can tell I'm new to CRT and the only CRT pro products that I really have are the ones that I've got out of monthly subscription boxes. So yeah, so there's the next product. Okay, so this is Fierce Flix. Is this the eyeliner? No, Precision Lip Liquid. Oh no, Precision Tip <laughs> Liquid Liner. So yeah, this is an eyeliner. And is this in black? This is what the packaging looks like. And I've had this before and it is in black. I won't open it up because I have too many eyeliners already open. But I definitely like the packaging. Ciate London has really nice packaging. But yeah, I have had this before and it's actually okay. The next thing is this Eye Luster Cream Eyeshadow. Looks like this. All right, guys, um, let's get into this. If you hear any snoring in the background, that's Rambo. He's sleeping. So apologies. Oh, this is going to be really nice. Look at that. Let's open this up. This is a liquid eyeshadow. Oh, that's nice. Oh, it's kind of thick, though. That's the only thing. Look at that. I guess this would be like a lip, like not a lip topper, an eye topper. Or you could use this as a highlighter. But that's really thick. It's really thick. So I don't know how well this would work on the eyes. It would definitely crease. I could be wrong. Please drop a comment down below if you've used this and how you found working with it. But when I swiped it on, it was kind of patchy and really thick. And clumpy so i don't know how well that's going to work on the eye but the color is absolutely stunning the next things i'm seeing are some um nail art stuff yeah this nail arts nail wrap kit so this one is a nail wrap kit which i'm probably just going to pass these things on to my mom because she does nails and then this one as well that's really fun right i'll pass this on to her as well the next thing i'm seeing is this lip mask and it says two in one everyday balm and mask i will definitely probably just put this straight into a giveaway because i just got a lip mask from p louise and i have to get through that one and then i think i do have another lip mask i can't remember which brand it's from but i have another one that's open already and i just know i'm not going to get through it all so there's no point in me keeping another one especially when i don't really use lip masks so this will definitely go into a giveaway but this is what it looks like it doesn't say 
what flavor it is i don't think there is a flavor and i don't want to open it up because i'm not going to be keeping it but it does say it's a two-in-one everyday balm and mask so you can use it as a lip balm or a mask and again it has a leaflet inside the next thing we have is this glow to highlighter look at that right i like their packaging i really do all right so this is in the shade starburst this is what it looks like pretty pink packaging and then opening it up look at that that's absolutely stunning i just got a lottie london um highlighter from the glossy box i believe if i'm not mistaken which i just filmed not long filmed and yeah it was really really nice so i'm hoping this one is just as nice look at that let's see what this looks like oh that is pretty it is pretty but this has got nothing on the lottie london one it's really pretty though we have to kind of build it up but i prefer the lottie london but that is pretty all right so i'm happy about that the next thing in the bag is bubble wrap so let's open this up okay and this is marbled light illuminating blusher so i think this is like a blusher with highlight mix i will open it up and show you guys but you lot know that i do not use any kind of highlighter on my cheeks this is what it looks like it's really pretty packaging opening it up oh yeah look there's a mirror and this is what it looks like so i'm not going to swatch this because i'm going to definitely be putting this into a giveaway and this is the shade breeze that is really really pretty i like that all right i only wish that i could use it but that is stunning absolutely stunning so yeah that's going to be going into a giveaway that's really pretty and the last thing in the bag is this again it's bubble wrapped let's open it up The Ciate London Chocolate Nine Piece Eyeshadow Palette. All right, I love the fact that they put an eyeshadow palette in there. Actually, I'm wiping it, and although the shimmer's going everywhere, as you can see, the glitter, all right, it isn't really cracking, but that shimmer does go everywhere. So maybe you could just use it like as a topper, a little bit just like that. And get it on your finger and just have like that glass effect on your eyes that everyone seems to be doing now but yeah that's really pretty jumping straight into this one i love that it has an eyeshadow palette it just looks like this let's get into it super exciting i'm sure this is like one of them huda beauty dupes but that is so so pretty so so pretty i love that let's do some swatching Look, we've got two little... Oh, you know I've got to swatch these. Here we go. Oh, that's pretty. And then the one at the bottom. Oh, look at that. I like these colours. They are going to be normal, natural, everyday colours, right, that you could just wear on an everyday basis. Let's do this dark brown. Look. My swatching sucks, but yeah, this eyeshadow palette is pretty, it's, it's really pretty, I like that. All right, I am so happy with the palette. All right, and even more happy that it has like a dark shade so that I definitely can just use this palette by itself and not have to incorporate another palette. Right, so that was the last product in the bag, guys. So just to recap, we have the eyeshadow palette, we have the highlighter, we have the highlighter blush. This is really pretty, really pretty. Right, we have the lip balm or mask. We have this eyeshadow, the cream eyeshadow. We have a lip oil. We have the metallic lipstick. We have the color flip lip gloss. This is the worst thing in the bag. Right, then we have a mascara, we have the eyeliner, we have, oh no, I brought that. Right, and then we have the nail art. 
this bag cost me 34 pounds guys and i think it was worth it there is a lot of products in the bag some better than others and yeah i can't complain only one product i disliked in there and that's the color changing thing but everything else is really pretty now this color here you'd have to be really bold to wear this or use this um but like i say i can do it for makeup looks on the camera and then wipe it off afterwards i don't have to go out so um yeah if i have to be picky these two things are two things that i probably won't get a lot of use out of but everything else yeah i absolutely love it and there are quite a few things in here also that i can put into giveaways not because i won't use it um or it's a bad product only because i already have it or i just know it won't get used up because i have too many of that same item that i just don't use enough so all in all i think the 34 pounds that i paid for this is it was really good please feel free to drop your comments down below what you thought about this mystery bag whether or not you got the mystery bag um or if you've used any of the products inside the bag and what you thought about them or if you can give me a heads up about any of the products because apart from the lip oil and the eyeliner i haven't used any other ciate london products i think i may have a blush like a matte blush from them but apart from that i don't think i have so yeah drop your comments down below and let me know if you made it this far into the video thank you so so much for watching i really do appreciate each and every one of you and before you all click off if i could ask you to please hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already done so and then click on the little notification bell beside it and then click all so you never miss another upload from me and while you're down there if i could ask you to please hit the thumbs up button it really does help me on my channel out and i really do appreciate it guys once again thank you so much for watching until next time have a beautifully blessed day and i'll see you all again soon Bye for now.